Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to Rail the Gutter. It has been a while. Now you're probably wondering why the hell I have my bike upside down. No wheel on the frame and why is the wheel way back there? And uh, I apologize for the crappy Ikea furniture here. But the reason I had to remove the wheel and have this bike upside down, which is the reason why this is obviously looking a bit funny, is because I don't have a stand. But also because I just washed this bike and I developed a problem. And it's a very simple dumb thing that we probably overlook i started noticing as i'm pedaling mind you i cleaned everything is that i was still hearing this like sort of um a chirping sort of like mice sort of a sound you know how mice when they run they, they make that sound that squeaking sound well that's what this sounds like and it's definitely not in the front because i cleaned the bottom bracket i cleaned the chain ring i cleaned the chain here's the thing is that you see this jockey wheel right here? There's actually two jockey wheels. There's one there. And then if you can see the teeth right here, there's another one right here. A lot of the time when we're cleaning our bikes, we tend to overlook those two jockey wheels. Not always, of course, this tends to apply more to, um, you know, people that are new to the sport or new to just cycling in general. But this applies to like mountain bikes or anything that has jockey wheels to it. Those things, do have to be cleaned out. A lot of the time when that happens, when you hear that sound, it's because these jockey wheels are, have like rust, debris and stuff in them. So you have to remove them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove these, quickly inspect them and uh, clean them out and then install them. And then hopefully the sound goes away. So let's do it. Okay, so I've officially removed the jockey wheels. Now if you're curious, I am using a three millimeter Allen wrench. And the Allen wrench just removes two of these little bolts here. Now be careful if you are removing one of the derailleur bolts because one of them holds in the jockey wheel by itself, but the other one, as you can see here, right here on the back, it's holding it directly onto the derailleur. So the moment you remove this one, just be careful with this because this does fall off. It is a little, it is um like hardened aluminum, so it won't break if it falls from like a foot, it's fine. So uh, but just be careful. That's out of the way. Now here's the problem. I already checked this. This one, as you can see, like I said earlier, it does have two little washers. Now, if you were to remove said washers, just put these down, this is what you see on the inside. See that little sleeve there? Everything looks good. Nothing, nothing crazy, right? It's just a little sleeve. Now, that's the one I believe that is closer to the top. This one is closer to the top of the derailleur. So it is the one that makes first contact with the chain as it's wrapping down. This one, on the other hand, is the one at the bottom. Then I realized the problem. So when you remove the same said two, ta-da, so here's your problem. Um, if you do not clean these out, this side doesn't look too bad, but if you don't clean the sides out, you know, this happens. So you do have to clean this stuff out. Um, this is more than likely the culprit of the noise. So just clean this all out and uh, you don't need to re-grease this stuff uh, at all whatsoever. Grease does tend to attract a lot of dirt so you can go ahead and skip that. It just needs to be cleaned out. So once you've cleaned it out and attach it back onto the bike, it should be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these out. All right, so I now have everything cleaned out. This is the one again that was on the top. I just, since there was nothing wrong with this one, I just wiped this one down. I very gently cleaned it out, made sure that there was no oil on the jockey wheel on the sides here and on the inside. This is just a little mark from just old usage. This one, this is the one that was giving me problems. This had obviously rust everywhere. This had rust everywhere on the inside. So as you can see, it's pretty much cleaned out. It had oil everywhere. So this one's all cleaned out. And this little sleeve on the inside is completely cleaned out as well so everywhere and then the two washers that were originally on there were also cleaned out so everything is looking you know pretty good uh not perfect but you know it's a hell of a lot better than what it was we're just going to go ahead and attach it and just give it a spin and see if it goes away all right so i have officially reattached the jockey wheels they are now spinning nice and freely both of them right here so you can see this one kind of spinning around this one keeps spinning nicely this one has a little bit of an annoying sort of back and forth it is normal when you reinstall your jockey wheels that they have a very small amount of play and it's just because of the way that it works with the derailleur and the chain and just allows it to have some wiggle room that is normal just make sure you tighten them down correctly now unpopular opinion <laughs> um 
because some of these jockey wheels do have bearings inside of them to allow some you know extra smoothness um i personally don't add grease or oil into the inside of it just because it's dusty if that stuff gets in here i could run into this problem again in like two three rides and then i'm gonna have to pull it back down and do all this stuff again but yeah so i think the reason why i ended up getting rust in this one and not this one is because obviously this one is higher up and I had recently passed like a puddle and uh, it was raining here a couple weeks back and I forgot all about this but um, water got into this one and I didn't clean it off and uh, yeah so this happened so if you're curious as to where your problem could be after you've cleaned out your chain your front chain ring you know you checked your pedals um, and the problem seems to be coming from here and it's not the derailleur like moving and shifting most likely it's going to be your jockey wheels so go ahead and just check them pull them down check them make sure that they're nice and tight after you've you know cleaned them up and reinstalled them and if everything you know is moving freely and nice most likely they're good to go thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys at the next one